We're finally going racing again. This spec Miata has been sitting here for quite a while, untouched. So we're gonna change our fluids, we're gonna do our engine oil, transmission, and uh, rear end. And then we have some new pads and rotors. So we're gonna do our brakes, get ready for this track day. Yeah, can't wait. Nasty. Okay, top bolts loose. Pull it out. Rocker open. There's actually a lot of meat on this stuff. Oh yeah, wow. We thought we would be changing rotors and pads, but both of them have very minimal wear. Uh, they look like crap because they're all rusty and they've been getting some rain and just haven't been used in a while. But as far as shape goes, I mean, easily 80% life or more left in them. Same story on this side, almost nowhere. Uh, the pad, same thing, almost nowhere. So we are not changing brakes, just fluids, and this car's ready to go. The old tires we had on this, RR is good tires, but they're pretty worn out. Some of them are corded, so we have a set of R888s that'll get us through the weekend. Nasty. Sheesh. Oh yeah. Engine oil is out. Next up, while it's up in the air, we're gonna get the tranny oil out. Okay, on the tranny, drained it all out, got the drain plug back in it, now we have the fill plug out. It's hard to see, but uh, basically we're gonna fill the tranny up with this this guy through the top. Alex got the shifter out. So Alex is gonna pour this in the top, and I'm going to check the fill, and once it's all the way full, Alex will hopefully stop pouring, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe. maybe. I'm just kidding. You can fill a six speed from the top, not a five speed. So we gotta get all that out of there. But uh, to actually fill it, we have this pumper. I'm gonna stick it in the fill plug and pump until we're happy. It's really hard to tell on video, but we got a little drop draining from that fill plug. So this thing's full. Plug's gonna go back in it. Diff's full, no more pump. Just a little tighten and good. And the last step on the wheels is to torque them down. Uh, we use 85 foot pounds for Spec Miatas. Naturally, before we take this thing all the way out to our track, we're gonna give it just a little bit of a uh, rundown just to make sure everything is running right. It's running great. Alex's turn. So as you see, we are now ready for the track day. Basic fluid change, uh, brake check. We we're looking at changing the brakes, but didn't need to. Uh, and a quick function check, and we're good to go. Uh, it's that simple. So for this one, we'll be at Thunder Hill in Willows, California. Yeah, looking forward to a fun day out at the track. Thanks, guys. See you there. <laughs>